2007 Cadillac Escalade. Wow. Look at that. Yes. It's got a bow system. When you buy this product, they're gonna ask you, they're gonna ask you to get a VIN number. Uh I just press source on that. Uh yeah, I just uh mentioned earlier this is uh uh I believe he said six hundred dollars for this whole system. It come with everything. It's, uh, you think about it, it's a lot cheaper than buying aftermarket regular aftermarket radio. But this thing's got everything. It tells you your mileage, it tells you you've got Bluetooth, it's got GPS, it's got uh, got a bunch of other video stuff that I didn't even know about. And then I guess it's probably synced to your phone right there too, so you can watch a video through that. And it's got a backup camera ready. I mean, literally if I'm backup right now, see? It's raining in the back, so background, so, and it tell you your car, the door's open. I mean, come on, you see how that door's open right now? So it's, everything that you need is right here for $600. Cannot beat that. All right, I got an Escalade right here. I'm gonna put a big screen This is a 2007 uh, Cadillac Escalade. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all this part out right here, pry it out. Let me see if I can do it one hand. If not, I'm gonna have to skip. Basically, you take a pry and pry it out. It's gonna come out like that. One. I'm doing it easy on that. So, I'm gonna. Use another, I'm gonna have to use two hands to pull this out, so let's see if I can do one hand. Wow, one hand, man. Uh, now, you have to take this cigarette lighter plug off, push this in. Well, I can't do it by my, uh, I gotta do it two hands, so I'm gonna pause that, but push it in and pull it out. Okay, here's what I've done. Basically, there's a tap right here you push it down you push this part down right there and pull it straight out you got to push it all the way down and pull it out use a flat hat and push it and pry it and then now what you got is now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pry this out right here move it a little bit at a time pry it go to another side and pry it out you can use a flat hat on this, but be careful. I think I have to pry this out too, so I'm gonna have to go right there and pry it out on that side. Okay, I'm gonna pry it like that. Use this side and pry it the two. Pick like that, and it will come out. It's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, six clip. But when you pry one, this one, and this one, and the top one, it should come out pretty easy. And now you just pry this right this like that, and just coming down. Here. And then here a little bit. Be careful, don't break that part right there. So coming over here, try it again. So now what I'm gonna have is a couple of wire to take out. You got these wire behind there, right there. Push it in, push that in, pull it straight out. And then same as this one right here. You push the outside, the inside in from the other side right there. 
pull it out. Well, actually, you had to push both sides. I'm sorry. Right there. And then I usually keep it right here. Now, what I got right here, I haven't seen it yet. So this is the first one I've done. This model. So I got one. I got screw right here. There's a seven millimeter right there. Two, four, six. Basically six. So I'm going to take them six, seven millimeter out. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to take seven millimeter out. Basically, I'm going to take all of them out. I'm going to skip on that part right there. But well, I'm going to take it all out, 7 millimeter. Now, I got all them uh, <clears throat> six screw out. So, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to pull it out like that. Pull it straight out. The whole thing will come out. I'm going to pull it out. Now, what you got right there, you got antenna adapter and then all this plug right there. This this got a bow system. So, what I'm going to do, I'm push this out. Push in and pull it out. Push in and pull it out. And this is for the uh, camera and the uh, ceiling camera right here, as you can see. A piece right there. There's a trick to that. I did show how to hook that up for the uh, from an aftermarket to uh, overhead camera, overhead uh, TV. I'm sorry, that's that right there. And then take this antenna adapter out. Just pry it out like this. I'm going to show you one hand. Camera might be moving. Straight out. Oh. What I got right here, I got the uh, <clears throat> mic microphone. I'm going to have to run it from here. I don't know if yeah it's long enough I'm gonna put it right there and then run it down here all the way down and come back over this way I got the uh, <clears throat> plug right there the 3.5 millimeter plug I'm gonna plug it right to the back for the mic right here <clears throat> be careful how you lay this down make sure nothing is below that as you can see, I plug everything in there. So the mic plug is right here. Plug that in. Also, what you got right here is a USB plug. Uh, let me see what's it saying. It's a USB 1 and USB 2. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run that wi this wire coming back over here right there so they can customer can get access to it. I'm going to put it in the glove compartment if they needed it. Alright, I got everything installed. Uh, this, this is a screen. This is a neat screen. Only thing I'm not sure about is when I put the reverse, it's not getting a signal. I'm not sure so i'm gonna look in the back signal see if there's any additional piece i had to install or mess with but anyway i mean you got picture you got music uh, wow that's really nice you gotta hook up bluetooth aux i'm gonna check on the aux I didn't have any aux because I didn't pluck anything on that. A videos. That's a video we're watching right there. And then I can full screen it right there. Whoa, look at that. And they're telling me that my door is open too. This is neat. It's all program. Mm -mm. Uh, navigation. Let's see how it work. probably take a little bit ego navigation I go navigation probably taking a few minutes a few seconds to search for uh, the GPS location I'm in a building this building is the signal is not that great but it's looking for it probably take a couple seconds 
Okay, what I didn't do right earlier, I forgot to hook up. Uh, well, I did hook up. I thought this uh, this uh, plug right there, because it's in Chinese or Japanese, I'm not sure. Uh, screen is not good. Focusing. It's in Chinese, so this plug right there, the black plug that came with it, you plug this to... Uh, let me get a better view on this camera. Uh, to the factory O uh, cam input that plug yeah once you plug that back you put a reverse on look at that it's raining so it's kind of blurry I mean it's just wet and the camera is wet that's all but that's it now I'm putting everything back putting everything back all you need is a four screw you got one left one right on the bottom and then two on the top and then the top one's kind of a little bit tricky you kind of push it up a little bit uh, till like basically till the uh, seven millimeter up top a little bit and then screw it in because if not it's not it, it's a little bit lower this thing kind of pulled down a bit I'm putting everything back in I'm gonna plug right back in this plug on the left one for not sure for the light or something, but I just plugged back whatever it is that I unplugged. And as you can see, I'm doing one hand, so it's kind of hard to take a video and uh, put everything back in one hand, like I only have one hand type. So. I'm trying to get in the right position here. Make sure this go back and tap it a little bit. Go easy on it. Don't tap it too hard because you can break some stuff. Right there. And then this one, like I said, only doing one hand, so but it's pretty easy. Let's see if I can do it one hand. Uh, I have to do I can't reach over there, but uh, just tap it in a little bit, make sure it's in the right hole. And right here, uh, you pluck this cigarette lighter, and then make sure it start from here, and kind of, you have to do two hand. First of all, you got a line right here first, and then you you kill it about 45 degree right here and get it in here this part right there make sure this is in and then put the, push this piece down and you should be able to be good to go right there and then voila turn the key back on make sure everything works by the way the customer paid uh uh, he said, I asked him, he said $600 for it. Uh, he bought it locally, so, so, there you go. Wow. Let me see what other option this uh, thing got. Navigation working, music, box. I'm gonna go to the main menu. I'm gonna peel this off real quick. It's a screen right here. Let's peel that off. Right there. That's sweet. That is nice. See how I had this USB plug right there. I'm gonna go home. Look at that. It tells you the date. Set the date. The video piece. I don't know what that is. Okay. And a Bluetooth right there. Uh, the volume. Man, it's got basically literally everything. Let me see the navigation book yet.
navigation, it should work. They all should be working in order, right? Yeah. You can make the whole screen better. 